Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel Trading Secrets. This channel is for entertainment purposes only. For those of you who don't know, my name is Ali. I have over 20 years experience teaching accounting, economics, business and law through this channel. I'll be providing some stock analysis and a quick update on the million dollar challenge. So if anybody is not aware of this, this is a genuine investment of $1,000 to a return of $1 million over a period of three years using a strategy called compound return investing. So the objective is try to get 201 trades. Each with an average return of 3.5%. It's not 201 consecutive trades. We do take into account losses. So for further details about how to join us for less than $9 a month, information is available in the description below. In today's video, we're going to be looking at the Trent Media Alert and Warning to NASDAQ with regard to naked short selling and also with regard to Tiximal DJT. So stay tuned for that. We're also going to be looking at a very interesting response from Citadel. And uh, we're also going to be looking at the latest updates in terms of MMTLP and Congress and other developments. And then finishing off by having a look at an uh, important week for earnings with many of the mega cap uh, stocks reporting. So before we get started, let's have a look at what's happening in the market. So first headline here from the Wall Street Journal, we can see that big Big stocks won when the markets rose and they are now winning in the sell-off so there is a, a little bit of a sell-off we have a look at other developments in the market we can see here the bitcoin halving process is now also expected to take place this is something that takes place every four years and once it happens there is historically there is always uh, a significant appreciation in Bitcoin price. Uh, so in terms of the Nasdaq, that was down overall and uh, it was down approximately 2% and Nvidia uh, was a big sell-off, approximately 7%. Uh, so not overall a great market um, in, for most of the stocks. If we have a look at the heat map here, we can certainly see there's a big tech sell-off, semiconductor sell-off and also communication services. However, energy did fare a lot better. And in the previous video, one of the stocks that I featured was Tiximal HUMA. So if we have a look at back at, at, on this, uh, there was a senator, Senator Tom, Tommy Tuberville, who has declared um, an investment in this to uh, stock, HUMA, also known as uh, uh, Homer site and this has uh, gone up currently 14% since we covered it in the previous video so keep an eye on Tixingle HUMA and finally uh, let's now move on to have a look at earnings so we can see here in the week beginning 22nd of April 2024 some of the significant stocks calling earnings include Microsoft Google Facebook Visa Tesla Exxon as well as that Intel and uh, in terms of some of the expectations we can see here first of all uh, Tesla they are also due to report earnings and uh, a history Historically, they have always had exceptional earnings. However, this time, I think we may be expecting a miss on Tesla earnings, but ne you, 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 you never know, and uh, it could hopefully be a positive surprise. Uh, and the other one I think is hopefully going to be a good beat on earnings is Tiximal MET, also known as Meta Platforms. They are reporting on Wednesday, April the 24th, and we're looking at consistent consensus estimate of $4.32 uh, per share and also revenue of $36.15 billion and that will represent a 26.2% year-on-year revenue growth. So hopefully good news for Meta. If we look at Microsoft, again, they are going to report earnings Thursday, April the 25th. We're looking at $2.81 per share on revenue of $60.77 billion and that is a potentially a 15% increase in revenue growth. So hopefully great news for Microsoft as well. And if we look at Google, uh, they're also expected uh, to report on Thursday, April the 25th, a consensus estimate is $1.49 per share on revenue of $78.61 billion. And also looking at uh, expected growth of 12.6% uh, per annum. And finally, the one, uh, other one I'm going to report is uh, in terms of expectations, tick symbol INTC, also known as Intel. Uh, consensus, consensus estimate there is 11 cents per share on revenue of 12.77 billion. That represents a 9% year-on-year -year revenue growth it could be a miss but i think this one certainly will be one of the interesting ones to look at let's now have a look at the news with regard to the symbol djt so shout out here to don fizz who's posted uh, the headline here trump media alerts the nasdaq to potential market manipulation from naked short selling of djt stock so uh, susie has posted a very uh, interesting picture there with regard to how this may have parallels and significant parallels with mmtlp we know uh, there was significant short selling uh, should we say naked short selling there as well allegedly and also many shares uh, not counted by finra so uh, i think significant 
significant parallels which hopefully will be exposed. And from CNN, we can see that Trump media has warned Nasdaq of suspected market manipulation. So let's see what happens here. And what's also interesting is uh, Trump is the presidential candidate. So this may have to be taken very, very seriously. So I certainly hope this is a, a game changer. And in the article here, we, we can see uh, that the parent company of the former president, Truth Social, have alerted the Nasdaq on Thursday. They suspecting illegal activity to drive down the share price. So obviously, um, uh, Devin Nunes, the CEO of Trump Media, has basically alleged that what he seems to be uh, deeming as naked short selling. So we know that there were nefarious actors denying that there was ever such thing as naked short selling, but certainly that is not true. Uh, and for clarification purposes, we can see here that this involves somebody who sells shares they do not own uh, and have not borrowed. So uh, another way of saying what this is, is bla basically blatant theft. And this is something that only happens in the stock market. Somebody steals your house, somebody steals your car, they would go to prison, but not in the stock market. And um, let's now have a look at um, a shout out here to Wolf of My Street. And I'm gonna share with you here a response from Citadel. Uh, and the post there basically states that Citadel Secu Securities have responded to Dave, Devin Nunes and DJT after their accusations of naked short selling. Uh, and we're looking at the, basically this uh, some fiasco probably just starting so they are, it looks like uh, Truth Social is keeping their foot on the gas so I'm going to share with you a small clip of this um, uh, interesting video. And the reason why because there is a battle royale going on right now between Devin Nunes who runs Trump's media company you know he's the former con Republican congressman and a, he, he essentially picked a fight with Ken Griffin of Citadel and here's what he claimed. He said that there is credible evidence, or there's evidence, there's p potential evidence, I'm paraphrasing, that there's naked short selling in shares of DJT. It's a short selling technique where it's essentially illegal. It helped push down the shares. That's why DJT lost, for a time, 60% of its value. It's popping up a little bit today. And there are firms that are kind of involved in that, in that, in that genre of, of potentially illegal trading and one of them is Citadel. That prompted this response from Citadel. We should put it up there. Do we have it? Devin Nunes is a proverbial loser <laughs> who tries to blame <laughs> naked short selling for his falling stock price. Nunes is exactly the type of person Donald Trump would have fired if he were on their presence. If he worked at Citadel, we would fire him. <laughs> That's his ability and integrity as ability and integrity is at the center of everything we do. Okay, so obviously they deny. <laughs> Let's now finish off by having a look at the latest developments for MMTLP in terms of Congress. So shout out here to Craig, who's posted on April the 2nd, we began the campaign to push for a hearing uh, as a community, and this was recommended by congressional allies. So important uh, statement there. And to schedule this hearing before July the 31st. So I know this is a long way out, and I think it's also disappointing. But what it does say on a positive uh, point of view is things are still happening. So uh, if we look from April the 19th, then we're looking at the 14th business day from that. So we know meetings are due to take place on this issue. And what is also stated in his opinion, the window until Ju July the 31st is still ample and very much in play. So basically it's a case of calling your rep's office, continuing with the Congress campaign and asking, asking them to obviously make themselves aware and uh, reach out. So I do believe Don Fizz will be going ahead back to DC. So uh, once that happens again, I'm hoping that we get much, much more positive developments. And uh, an interesting post here from Jonah, who's posted, no one elected Gary, no one elected Finra, no one elected the DCCC. No one elected at the SEC, no one listens. So obviously, as far as MMTLP is concerned, we have approximately 65,000 veterans and investors. Obviously that includes international investors such as myself. And uh, the allegation here is we have been defrauded and we have not had any significant transparency or communication in terms of what happened. And that is all we are asking for. And finally, I'm gonna finish off by sharing a post uh, from Kay Kep and also going back to the um, angle on Citadel and what Kay Kep has stated here is with regard to counterfeits, look at Citadel's year, uh, uh, year after year annual reports, shares sold and not yet purchased. So uh, the statement here from February the 29, 2024, the Citadel Securities reported a fair value of just 
27.758 billion. I don't know why the word fair value of just sounds like that just 27.758 billion is, is a nothing figure for them uh, and these remember are securities sold not yet purchased for 2023 so uh, that certainly is huge and uh, as far as i'm concerned that indicates a huge huge problem in the whole financial market and it also indicates something that we need to look at to try and rectify and fix Obviously, we know that uh, South Korea are on are onto it. India seem to be getting onto it. Thailand are onto it. Uh, hopefully, the U UK, uh, my country, are getting onto it as well in terms of what I've been seeing. Uh, so that just really leaves uh, the biggest financial market in the world, the United States. Uh, so uh, fingers crossed for positive developments, but we certainly are not close to fixing this yet. And finally, if you would like to get a copy of our weekly watch list as well as our daily stock alerts, uh, details are in the description below. Thank you very much for watching. Please stay tuned.